Hey there, good morning. It's Wednesday morning. I'm doing another one. I might do one every day this week, actually. I'm going to spend the rest of the day editing, so I thought I would come out here and quickly uh, go over what I did yesterday after I posted that video. Or after I finished recording that video, I actually tried the thing. It worked uh, to some extent. The pinwheel did, but it started to slip. And the first thing I did to correct that, because I knew this would be an issue, but I didn't know how much of an issue, was to slim the margin or the, you know, where the fingers are on the disc, top and bottom, so that they're thinner than the middle, so that they're free to move when the other discs clamp down on top of them. And that improved this situation slightly, but not enough to say that this is a success. So I looked at it again and thinking about it, and I've... I've decided that maybe the other possible cause is that these fingers, like this, the cuts I made into them, like in into the, to form the fingers, are too steep. So what I wind up with are fingers that will be too long. So rather than catch, because the inside of these, these sleeves is pretty smooth, okay? So it, it takes, it's going to take something for the, the grab. The longer that arm is, and at, 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 a, at an extreme angle to the side, the less chance it's gonna grip. So I just finished making a new pinwheel with less uh, aggressive angle. It still has an angle, it's still tilting forwards, otherwise it's not gonna work. So my hope is that this change will make it, make it grab better. Okay, so I'm gonna try that now. In the meantime, I did, like I said, I did run it. Um, I tried the inner tube rubber. That worked perfectly. It was amazing. And uh, I was sanding this big block of uh, hard maple, uh, like the full three inches of it, and jamming it in there pretty hard, like harder than I normally would, and it didn't, it didn't slip. That's a success, but I just want to test this again and see if it actually, um, you know, if it'll actually work, if my thinking is good. So I made the wheel, instead of thinning down the thing, like the edges, I made a couple of washers. These are actually uh, 5 sixteenths, I think, washers that I drilled the whole oversized a half inch so they'll fit right on there. So I'm just going to take this off again, take off the inner tube washers, because somebody pointed out that the the same thing that affected the rubber on this may affect the inner tube rubber. I don't see it. And then add to that that these are are really cheap and easy to to get and uh, easy to replace if it does you know cause a problem. Mm -hmm. I had a bunch of different suggestions. I had one re really interesting one about ball bearings and centrifugal force to push out on uh, on say rather than you know making the sleeve like making these discs to fit perfectly inside the drum, make it so that um, their size so that when you, like you can stretch a inner tube uh, sleeve down over it and inside these, um, these discs there would be like a 3 8 inch hole drilled. I don't know how many, you could, pro you could probably put six in this. So say 3 8 inch holes drilled almost to the center, 3 8 inch ball bearings inside there I don't know how many it would take to actually build up enough force to hold the sanding sleeve on, but it was an interesting idea anyway. So I gotta I gotta find the right pinwheel and put that on. I've got the sleeve. You can see this is a different sleeve than the one I was using yesterday. Uh, that was the other thing I had concerns about: the consistency from size, like from manufacturer to manufacturer as far as size goes. I think this one's made by Freud. The other one is made by who knows. Um, I don't even know where it is now, but uh, different manufacturer. They're close enough in size that I don't think it makes a difference. So I think the Freud is a little bit slacker, but we'll see. Okay, so that goes on. It's it's. I think it's too too loose, actually. So I don't think it's actually going to work because there's nothing like there's nothing holding it right now I made my 
I made my new pinwheel too small. Maybe the other one, if I can find it, will be a better fit. Yeah, this one's definitely snugger. Yeah, that's a that's a better fit. Okay, that is the fit that I was looking for, just to slip it right on. Yeah, these are slightly too big. So that's on. Uh, disc is in place. Everything's uh, set up here. It's going to plug it in and see how it runs. All right, so the test is to see if it slips. So I set the chance. It's holding. All right, I was pushing it real hard and it did slip, but then I think I have the pinwheel in backwards, actually. I'm just gonna check. Yes, I, I assumed that the thing was turning um, counterclockwise like this, and it's not. It's actually turning the other way. So I'm gonna flip over the pinwheel and try it again. All right, hopefully. The grip was surprisingly good, even with the pinwheel in backwards. All right, new problem. It's, it's not slipping. It didn't slip. I really jammed it in hard there. Didn't slip, but it was riding up. So that's easy enough to solve, though. I can put something on here to stop it from going up. You know, make a new disc that fits on the top that has a rim that's uh, bigger than the uh, the sleeve, so that it stops it from coming up. But uh, yeah, I'm happy with that. I've had people ask about the uh, why I'm doing this. Why don't I just work with what I have? You know, wrap tape around or whatever. But the objective in here is to design and build a new spindle center at some point in the future. And a big part of that will be the drums themselves, because I'm not just making one drum, making, like I don't have a three inch one, I'll be making a three inch one as well, an inch and a half, so on and so forth. And I'll need to do that for that new build, right? So it'll be the, the mechanism underneath will be one part, another big part will be the drum itself and how you hold the sleeve on. And that's what I'm working on right now. And I thought, I would, um, you know, try a few things out while I'm working on it, building the other thing. And then at some point in the future, if I ever get around to it, that is, I'll already have the drum design nailed down. And where once you had the freedom to object, to think and speak as you saw fit, you now have sensors and systems of surveillance coercing your conformity and subjecting your submission. We need cameras. How did this happen? Who's to blame? Well, certainly there are those who are more responsible than others, and they will be held accountable. But again, truth.